Greetings fellow hero questers and welcome to my video tutorial series on how to design and print your own custom hero quest cards. This video on the series flowchart is on how to design a hero card using the HQCC application. If this is the video you wish to watch, then stick around and this video will continue in a moment. This video is about how to create a custom hero card for the HeroQuest game system. If you are unfamiliar with the HQCC app by Action Fence on itch.io that we are using, check out my previous video on downloading and introducing the HQCC app. Let's start with the first template to create the hero card front. Type a name to represent the type of class of the hero. It appears in the banner at the top. If you click the plus button by notes, it will add a character note box at the bottom. Just so you know, you can add multiple note lines. If you start to type it in, you will notice that it is adding your text to the bottom. If you wanted something like the starting weapon on the other hero cards, but make this one a longsword, say starting weapon dot 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 longsword. Then add enough periods to make the text align. Let's look for an image for our hero. Now, if you are an artist or have some AI program that can generate art, more power to you. For the rest of us, let's just find a graphic. Huh, I'll pick this one. Then I'll right click it and select Open Image in New Tab. Now I'll right click the image and select Save Image As. If you download the graphic and find out that it's not a PNG, you can just edit it in Microsoft Paint and save it as a PNG. Now we just click the Load Image button and find our image. If you would prefer to give your image a transparent background so that that tan parchment background is visible, you could use a more sophisticated paint program. I like to use the GIMP because it is free and open source. Just open up your image, select the Magic Wand Selector tool, click on the background to select it, and press your delete key to delete the background. Not all graphics will be this simple. Some sketches may have gaps in their borders, causing the Select tool to select parts of the graphic that you don't want to be transparent. It may take trial and error to touch up the edges of the sketches so that the Select tool only selects the background. Now we can export this as a PNG file. I'll add the word transparent to its name so that I don't overwrite the original, in case I want to retain the original PNG. And there we go. Now let's click the load image button again and find our image with the transparent background. Now we just need to use these arrow buttons on the right to move the image and the plus or minus buttons to resize the image until we get it how we want. If you look at HeroQuest Hero Cards, you will notice that none of the hero pictures stick out below the statistics table. It shouldn't be too hard just to edit it again and chop off some of the bottom. Here I am just editing the image in Microsoft Paint and dragging the bottom of the canvas up to chop off some of the bottom. Now I'll just save it, then edit it in the GIMP again to make the background transparent once again. I'll click the Load Image button again and select the edited image so that the changes show up on the card. A little readjustment should do the trick. Now let's define our hero statistics. All you need to do is use the plus minus buttons next to each attribute to get the numbers you want. When we're satisfied with the way the card front looks, click the Save Card button. Notice how it says above, Cards are saved to desktop slash HQ card creator. Let's find it there. And there it is in all its glory. You could cut and paste into a different folder if you want. Congratulations, you have just created the front of your custom hero card. Now that we have the front of the hero card, let's design the back. This part is pretty easy. Click the fourth card template to switch to what would seem like the template for the back of a hero card. 
You can type in a name here if you want. Now you can just type in stuff like how you would see in the back of your hero cards. Notice here that it says that all text boxes can use RTF tags for different formatting. Let's create a bold star and end tag, then type in it, you are the boss. Now let's type some cool description for our hero after the bold tag ends. Hero descriptions on the cards seem to look like they're in italics. Let's add an italic star and end tag around our description. When we're satisfied with the way the card back looks, click the Save Card button. As usual, you can find the saved card graphic in its usual place and then cut and paste it into a different folder if you want. Congratulations, you now have a custom hero card front and back. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video of your choice for printing out your custom HeroQuest cards, which is either with a third party or at home.